Now looking at that MPC rate decision, un unchanged at 18% as expected, but inflationary pressures still remain. What was your out what what were your expectations of that outcome? Did it meet your expectations at 18% left unchanged? Um, yes, of course. Uh, I think most most of the market expected the rate to be left unchanged. Um, Okay, of course, looking at it from a trader's point of view, an ideal environment, I uh, would have wanted maybe a small uh, movement, down on movement, maybe 100, 150. Um, that this would really have uh, been, I mean, a really good move for the fixed income market, for investors and those who are already, who, those who are taking up positions now and those who are holding um, legacy positions from um, 2010 and uh, early 2011. Uh, but basically, if you look at it from a, from the macro macro view, it's it's a good move because what we're seeing is um, it seems that the only thing holding the shilling where it is is the tight monetary environment. Um, what if they had touched the CBR rate? Um, I mean, th there's a fear that we'll see a knee-jerk reaction from the market and an immediate weakening of the shilling. So at the moment, um, unless they can come up with uh, um, other other factors to to support the Kenya shilling, long-term factors. For the moment, I think we are we're stuck at uh, these levels. So a sigh of relief for the shilling. But when can we start seeing the central bank easing back on those interest rates? Because a rate of about 18% is a pretty steep for uh, um, your ordinary citizen in Kenya. Um, yeah, that's true, basically. And of course, there, there, um, there's a lot of pressure, especially legislative, that has been coming through for interest rates to come down. And also the governor has expressed, um, expressed uh, concern at the high, uh, high levels we're seeing uh, com for commercial uh, lending rates. But um, I don't think there's much of a choice, uh, especially for this first half of the year. And um, indications from Treasury and uh, CBK as, is that uh, we'll probably hold these levels for until the end of this financial year. And until other variables such as the underlying inflation, credit growth, all come within um, the target. We, they're all above target at the moment. So until these come within um, where CBK and, and the MPC envision them, I think we'll hold these levels of 18%. Now looking at some of the rates in the fixed income market, now that newly issued two-year bond was issued at 13.82%, but it's trading at around 11.8%. That's a drop within seven days. What's driving that drop in rates in that, on that end? Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty, pretty exciting, actually. 11.8 uh, was about the lowest level it's traded so far. We've seen a lot of trades are between levels of about 12.5, uh, 12.5 12, 12 12 to 12%. 12 um, basically, it's just, as we've been saying, um, we expect a rush on treasuries as investors look to lock in rates. Um, if you look at um, the inf inflation, uh, factors point to downward um, easing off of rates. So basically, everyone's looking to lock in treasuries, and we also expect CBK to come into the market less. I mean, this coming month, we don't, um, we might not even have a government bond issued. So this is just investors just coming in. There are a lot of excitement, but um, the declining rates has been rather steep, which um, is a bit concerning. Now, looking at those rates that are easing, could we perhaps see more institutions uh, coming in issuing corporate bonds? We know that last year only one corporate bond was issued, but there wasn't a lot of interest coming through there. Could we see more bonds coming through this year? Um, basically, I think um, in 2010 th there, was, there was a lot of interest from corporates, especially as the bond market, secondary bond market expanded. Um, there was a lot more investors looking at uh, corporate and fixed income securities. So there was a lot more interest from institutions looking to raise money through uh, the bond market. This waned in 2011 as uh, the rates became um, too expensive. And uh, going forward, if the rates continue where they are, we should see a lot more institutions showing interest in uh, coming to the bond market. Now within the 91 day and 182 day treasury bill space, the resistance level of 15% uh, has been broken with the 91 day currently sitting at 14.99 and the 182 day sitting at 14.77. Could we perhaps see that rate decline going forward? Um, yeah, that's basically, I think, what I was referring to earlier. It's a bit, um, <clears throat> it raises a bit of a concern. Uh, the decline has been very sharp, actually, since the beginning of the year. Uh, most analysts were projecting at this time would be around levels of about between 15, 50, and 16%. 
at this rate, by the time we cross um, over into the new financial year, we'll probably be even um, at uh, sub around levels of 10%, which is, is a bit concerning. CBK had expressed um, that they, they wish they, they would keep a hand on this rate and uh, control the decline. So far, they don't seem to be doing that. But also, if you look at the subscriptions, they've really been coming off, especially on the 91 day. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, uh, I mean, I think we'll see what CBK does going forward. But yes, the rate of decline is, is a bit worrying. Now looking at the equity market, snapping that six-day losing streak, what did you make of performance in today's trade? Um, market, um, what we've been seeing is, of course, a lot of profit taking since the bank, the banks, the financials uh, began announcing their first quarter results. Of course, there's some counters that have held out and are actually supporting the, the index. That's uh, counters such as EABL and uh, Safaricom especially a lot of foreign interest in Safaricom. Uh, today traded at a high of about 3 shillings and 45 cents. Um, it's exciting. It's been a while since it was at these levels. It might touch 3 shillings and 50 cents, but if it goes up these levels, we should expect quite a bit of profit taking across the board. Um, of course, we saw financials losing out. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a lot of foreign interest in Kennel. I think they made up about 95% uh, of total traded volume. Kennel closed its books in, uh, on Monday. So I think it's actually a, a, a bargain at the moment because it's still trading at a um, come div uh, price. So I mean, that's, that's a position you could take up at the moment.